they actually started yelling at me and saying that accommodations for time blindness doesn't exist and if you struggle with being on time you'll never be able to get a job um does this girl identify as transracial because she seems to be on black people time very proud of that joke thank you very much new genders new disabilities new identities of the week for here for us to critique here on the channel so if you are new make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a video that I post every Sunday I mean you have so many ways of waking yourself up you have alarm clocks old school ones new school ones with your phone your friends can text you to wake you up you have a boyfriend or girlfriend they can slap you a little bit you can pay someone to shoot peas into your window that's what they did in like the 1800s or something and keep in mind of course with all the new ways they are finding themselves being oppressed they also keep coming up with new ways to be offended no one is surprised I'm non-binary and this is why I use this abbreviation and not this one. E-N-B-Y or N-B is actually a phonetic pronunciation of N-B for non-binary. So then why don't I just use N-B? Because N-B originated from the black community to mean non-black. Remember how we spoke to the woke activists and told them that we did not like the fact that they took the word woman and changed its meaning and its definition? I mean, I thought they were all about words and definitions can change. Apparently not. It predates the term non-binary. Because I'm white and because the black community has asked us not to use it. So I'm going to listen and respect that. It's that simple. Ugh. Keep it consistent though, girl, okay? Women do not like being called cis. And we don't like being called TERFs for not liking being called cis. And speaking of TERFs, there was the first ever TERF parade in New York City this past week, which I wish it was a little bit bigger than it was, but I also don't agree with everything they say, so it just is what it is. This is where it is. And because they did this to our sister, this is our response. Adult human females, adult human males who are tired of this. A lesbian is an adult female homosexual. We are not transing away butch lesbian. We are not cutting off the healthy body parts of lesbian women. Say no to puberty blockers. Say no to cross-sex hormones for gender non-conforming women. Tired of it. This woman had every right to be in the dyke march, but men who dress up as women decided that they have a stronger voice. I mean, I agree to disagree with some of that that she said, but I completely understand that the majority of society is just sick of people claiming that they're oppressed. We're sick of the bullshit. We're sick of people speaking for others, saying that they deserve to be heard above others. I will say I wish she was a little bit more specific and said that there are in fact differences between trans women that have gender dysphoria and are presenting as female to the best of their ability versus cross-dressers and fetishes. But I also think it's fair to say that trans women should not be saying sh** like this. This is what I mean when the transphobia just comes out the audacity and just the arrogance for cis women to believe that they own periods that they own womanhood you don't i mean the only people who get periods are female but owning womanhood I kind of see the point. I mean, I've said this in videos before, but trans women, if they do pass and integrate into society as women, they do experience some of what being a woman is. Trans women and trans men will never know what it's like to fully, fully be a woman or a man, but they can integrate into society as such. And there is nothing wrong with that. It is what it is. There's nothing egotistical about it. Okay, you don't own periods. You don't own womanhood. You experience both and both are different for every person, but as a cis woman, Woman, it doesn't belong to you so you can't gatekeep it like hello if womanhood is different for every single person why even bother having a word for something to describe the one thing that we all have in common is it being born biologically female yes that's the answer yes we all have different lives different experiences we're all born at different times in different countries to different families but we also have a few things in common one of those is being born biologically female and it's not something that belongs to us it's just something that we inherently are i mean these people are just honestly so ridiculous why are we hating somebody for something that they are? Something that they can't change. Personally, I'd rather give somebody sh for what they do, or I guess in this case, rather what they don't do. If you're cis, I want you to message the trans person in your life and ask them what is one thing that you can do to lighten their load this week. Whether that be grocery shopping, folding laundry, doing dishes, ask the trans people in your life if there's a task or something that you can offer them. <sighs> I mean, the trans people in my life don't ever ask me or need or want anything from me. They are fully capable human beings. What they need and want from you personally is for you to shut the hell up. Stop making them look so bad. To help 
with the burden that we're carrying because we're having to deal with all of this stuff right now while having to deal with all of the life stuff that we regularly deal with. And the regular life stuff that we deal with is life stuff. And then there's transphobia and living as a trans person in the world. And then there's what's going on right now, which is all of that combined. And then send that trans person $5 so they can get themselves a treat. And do you remember a few years back when we used to say that LGBT people were super brave for simply living their truth? That we knew who we were, that we were not afraid of criticism. How the hell did we go from that to trans people need you to do their grocery shopping for them because they're that oppressed and, and miserable and sad and helpless? And just so you guys know, the people that are not on the far left, people that are on the right, are not the only ones that are fed up with this nonsense. Younger and younger kids Gen Zers are waking up and sick of this sh too. I also feel like we've passed the point of acceptance and are now at the point of blatant indoctrination. Someone has to say it. These pride parades have gotten disgusting. It's not even about acceptance anymore. It's a provocative and aggressive public display of hypersexuality and fetish. What was supposed to be an accepting and innocent space has turned into a hostile freak show. I didn't go to pride, never will, unless it's to document the absurdity of it, but this is what LGBT is associated with now. It's no longer associated with peace, love, unity, and tolerance. Instead, it's associated with hypersexualization, provocation, fetish, and bigotry. I don't know what happens in the days when we would encourage people to accept themselves and make peace with those who disagree with us. Because now we just scream obscenities at anyone even whispering a subtle argument. This community has managed to weaponize its own labels and use them unfairly, not hesitating to label any opposition as transphobic or homophobic. It's funny because we used to be the ones complaining about intolerance. Two girls holding hands in public were at risk of being shot. I mean, what could it be? My favorite new people that are entering the chat are the Italians. They are not having this sh These are my people. I love my people. I am an American of Italian descent, but I also love how little sh they take. I just got off the phone with my wife, who took my nine and seven year old boys to the doctor today to get physicals for tackle football and school next year and all that other sh I mean, maybe just maybe this is some of the reasons why society is just fed up with us. Seeing people walking around completely naked at Pride isn't creepy, right? Listen to this tweet. This is ridiculous. Seeing a man naked on a bike isn't going to have much impact on a, any kid. They have likely seen their father or brother naked before. I don't know about that. I've never seen my father naked. Sharing an uncensored video of a naked man on a bike to a possibly 30 million kids on Twitter is arguably worse than riding a bike naked in front of a kid or two at a planned event that the kid's parents took them to. Yeah. There are much worse things that the average kid will hear or see online and offline in a typical week. And the only reason I'm mentioning this is because this has 6 million views. My friend Chloe Cole said, This argument boils down to, Kids are sexualized all the time, so let's turn a blind eye to it. <sighs> Hate to say it, but she's kind of right. Again, society being pissed at us. Could it be possibly that males are now being upset at doctors for not giving them a vaginal exam? I'm like, but you're a gyne gynecologist office. Why wouldn't you? Well, we don't treat trans patients, so you're discriminating against me is what you're telling me. My female doctor in Toronto would have taken you in a hot beat, damn. Yeah, it's I am pretty pissed. It's so hard to find a like a gynecologist that can like even work with me i'm fairly certain that this person is male even though they try their best to present female but girl you do not have a legitimate vagina they cannot do a legitimate gynecology exam on you maybe there's a specialty thing that they need to do for you but that ain't it and how in the hell is it discrimination if they cannot help or treat what you do not have i can't that's all for this week i am fed up i am annoyed it is time for me to enjoy my weekend if you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And other than that, I will see you guys back here next Sunday with a brand new video. Until then, I love you. Love yourselves. Keep calling out the bullshit. Bye!